This class we discuss about the equivalent circuit of subtransient reactants, transient reactants, and the steady state reactants. One is the equivalent circuit of subtransient reactants. Here XL is the leakage reactants. XA is the armature reaction reactants. XF is the field winding reactants. XDW is the damper winding reactants. Here XA, XF and XDW three are connected in parallel and XL is connected in series with the source. Therefore the net reactants is the XT dash that is the subtransient reactants that is equal to XL divided by 1 by XA plus 1 by XF plus 1 by XDW or we can write XL plus inverse of 1 by XA plus 1 by XF plus 1 by XDW the second case if we include damper winding resistance in the equivalent circuit we can find the subtransient reactance time constant TD double dash that is equal to Thevenin's equivalent reactance divided by damper winding re re resistance Thevenin's equivalent reactance is XL plus inverse of 1 by XA plus 1 by XF plus 1 by XDW divided by RDW that is damper winding resistance. Value of XDW dash is for 2 pole turbo alternator 0.07 to 0.12 per unit for water wheel alternator 0.12 to 0.15 per unit. The second figure is the equivalent circuit of transient reactants. Here XA and XF are connected in parallel. XL is connected in series with the source. Therefore, XT dash is equal to XL plus inverse of 1 by XA plus 1 by XF. If we include field winding resistance RF in the equivalent circuit, we can find the transient reactants time constant TD dash. That is equal to Thevenin's equivalent reactance divided by field winding resistance. Thevenin's equivalent reactance is XL plus inverse of 1 by XA plus 1 by XF divided by RF field winding resistance. Value of XT dash is equal to 0.1 to 0.25 per unit. TD dash is equal to 1 to 2 second. Third is the steady state reactants. Here XL and XA are connected in series. Therefore XD is equal to XL plus XA. The following terms are very useful for fault calculation. Circuit breaker capacities are quoted under specified conditions of severity. Example power factor, recovery voltage and rate of rise of recovery voltage. Number one voltage rating. Voltage rating of circuit breakers are in terms of three phase line to line voltage. These ratings are based on operation of altitude of 1000 meters or less. For higher altitude, the rating should be derated. Number two, normal current rating. It is the RMS value of current, which the circuit breaker is capable of carrying current continuously as its rated frequency under specified condition. Number three, short time rating. It is the period for which the circuit breaker is able to carry fault current while remaining closed. Number 4 arc voltage. It may be defined as the voltage that appears across the contact during remaining closed. Number 5 recovery voltage. It is approximately equal to the system voltage. When contacts of CB are opened, current drops to zero after every half cycle. Number 6 restriking voltage. It may be defined as the voltage that appears across the breaking contact at the instant of arc extinction. Number 7 rate of rise of recovery voltage. It is the rate of increase of restriking voltage. Usually the voltage is in kilovolts and time is in microseconds. Therefore rate of rise of recovery voltage is equal to kilovolt per microsecond. Rate of rise of recovery voltage decides whether the arc will restrike or not. Rate of rise, rise of recovery voltage is greater than the rate of rise of dielectric strength between the CB contacts, the arc will restrike. Eighth term is DC offset. A periodic waveform has a DC offset if the average value of the waveform over one period is not zero. Ninth term is breaking current. 
it is the rms current that circuit breaker is capable of breaking at given recovery voltage under specified conditions that is power factor and the rate of rise of recovery voltage tenth term is making current it is the peak value of the maximum current wave including the dc component in the first cycle of the current wave after the circuit is closed by the circuit breaker 11th term is symmetrical breaking current symmetrical breaking current is equal to rms value of ac component it is the rms value of ac component of the short circuit current at the instant of contact separation in india breaking current is equal to symmetrical breaking current 12th term is asymmetrical breaking current asymmetrical breaking current is the rms value of the total current comprising ac and dc components of the current at the instant of contact separation it is equal to the rms value of total current in america breaking current is equal to asymmetrical breaking current 13th term is breaking capacity breaking capacity of circuit breaker is generally expressed in terms of mea it is the product of rated breaking current expressed in kilo amps and the corresponding rated voltage expressed in kilo volts one for single phase circuit and root 3 for three phase circuit 14th term is symmetrical breaking capacity it is equal to root 3 into v into i into 10 power minus 6 mba where v is the rated service line voltage and i is the rated breaking current 15th term is making capacity the peak value of current including dc component during the first cycle of current wave after the closure of circuit breaker making capacity is equal to root 2 into 1.8 into symmetrical breaking capacity 1.8 is the doubling effect value therefore making capacity is equal to 2.55 into symmetrical breaking capacity with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening